What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. And that's it. That's the whole level. That level's short. I think I'll do like one more area and then probably call it a day. Have you trouble at the proving ground? Try upgrading the weapon to the forge. That's why I'm not doing the machete one yet. Although I think one of the prizes in the machete one is an upgrade for the machete, so I He's might go check it out. Gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Yep, cause you didn't tell me anything about you. You jerk. Alright, let's talk to Zolf. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Okay. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. So yeah, the Ura, which is him, and the Ceylondians, I guess is what they're called, which is, I guess, me. And uh, his name is Rux. So me and Rux, um, they're like, they were at a war. So they hate each other. We fought the Ura decades ago. See? But that was then. Things are different between us now. Alright, so enough talking. Let's open up the monument. Look at that! The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. Yeah, so let's, um. Well, look what we have this. here. So the memorial. It's kind of like goals, and if you beat the goals, then you get a lot of money. And lost and found is stuff you can buy, so I'm gonna do lost and found first. The lost and found. Yeah, kid takes fragments of the old world. So like, makes them whole again. Look, this is for the war machete, and then this is all uh, materials to upgrade. So something sharp is for the war machete. So now I can upgrade all it, it takes again. some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. And then this stuff right here is uh, spirit for when I level up. So plus 25% damage using secret skills. Health tonics fully restore health, and you can hold two more health tonic capacity. That is just awesome. 100% damage when counter blocking automatically retaliate when injured. So I'm gonna buy those. Or I'm gonna buy that one at least. I need money for uh, upgrades. And let's go to the distillery. I'm not quite level three yet. I and I really need these two. So at level three, I can Squirt do the health side. will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. So 100% critical hit damage. So it's just going to do 100% more damage than it always does. And then extra blades when you throw it. I've actually never used those. I mean, it's useful, but that's why you have a ranged weapon at the same time. I throw it every now and then, but... War machetes are so quick, you got to keep a good grip on them. Um, I do throw it every now and then, but I use the melee just way more. So it makes more sense for me to use melee. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. So we're going to do this proving ground, and I'm going to do it 100%, hopefully. Because it would benefit me greatly if I do. And of course, you know, I am still want my shotgun, but that might have to wait till next time. Hopefully not, but it's probably going to have to wait. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Alright, this one is, this one's complicated. more healthful. At least for me it was. Because right when I get this, you have to defeat all the foes like as fast as you can. Right when I get this, this little area is going to be spawned with squirts. And the little black ones run away from you. So I have to kill as many as I can before they run away. After that, I'm going to have to kill like spawners and some turrets. And then mop up the ones that ran away. It's complicated, 
but uh, it might take me a few tries. Don't yell at me. Here we go. Uh, Some folks showed up to make a fast. And like, if I get hurt, I really don't freaking care right now. I can heal. Other folks came to train and right here, I need to kill all these black ones. I, I pretty much got most of them, actually. Next thing I need to take out is these. So that they never spawn again. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. I have one more health tonic. That's not good, actually. It's terrible. Oh, and when you do the proving grounds, um, you can only use the weapon that you're supposed to use. Like, I can't use the shield. So I can't reflect these with the shield I need to throw. Oh my gosh, there's only one guy left? Oh! Through all of them in a flash. I did it! I think first prize was to beat it in under a minute. Or a minute 30 even, I don't know. But I did really good at the beginning. That's why... That's why. Ghostblade! And I will be using Ghostblade for a little bit. And I can upgrade if I have enough money. I don't know if I have money. But if I do, I can upgrade to level 3, which is all I can do at the moment. Until I upgrade the forge later. But yeah, that's the freaking War Machete. Well, I love it. Well, kids gone and struck terror in the hearts of squirts everywhere. Oh, I love this War Machete so much. Let's see. Do I have enough money? No, I don't. I'm almost there. And I can do attack cripples again, which is what I will do. So, we'll hold off on that. We have Pyth Orchid, Orchard, and Cinder Brick. F oh, I don't like Cinder Brick. Well, too bad it lies deep inside the toughest fort in the city. Should be nestled, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's the shrine. What weapon do I get at the shrine? I feel like I get the uh, shotgun here, so I'm going to try it. But this is going to be the last level I do for this recording session. We'll come back and keep playing this game, but so far so good. Haven't been having too much trouble. I beat two proving grounds on my first try, 100%, so that's awesome. And yeah, I love playing this game. I've already played it before and I'm still enjoying it just as much. There's only one way to sit and break forth. Crap. The hard way. This is the fire level. Sure the city marshals may be gone. But now the force crawls. Alright, I think this is where you get the shotgun, because it's the marshal's weapon. And they're talking about the city marshals, so we'll see. Oh, and the new... I'm gonna just kind of waste it because I can get another tonic. But the new thing looks... Ghostblade? Oh! That's a trip mine. I didn't... I didn't equip it. Crap. Never mind. Was mercy. Just gonna show you the trip mine, but... Or the, uh, Ghostblade, but the whatever. Bags ain't so lucky. Um... There's a lot of crap going on over here. I don't really like it. left to freeze or starve. Or face the kid. Okay. What's up? Yeah. Give me my shotgun already. Is this it? Oh no, that's just floating something. Um there's a bunch of money over here. Kids ready for the windbags this time. Come on, come on. Oh crap. So pretty much when you die, you, you get two chances every level. If you die once, you'll respawn right where you died. If you die again, well, you have to start the whole level. And old, keep fighting for the fort. I'm about to die again. Holy crap. Or not again. I haven't died, but... You can't you know hardly I mean. tell up from down after a while. I'm close to dying again. Like I was close to dying before. Is this the shoddy? The left the kid a Martin gift. Shotgun. Yes. Something the windbags just can't handle. Something Boom. that'll punch clean through the greasy eyes. Boom. It, it actually is pretty overpowered at the beginning, and it just gets even more overpowered. It's it's great. Best weapon ever. Much 
different from normal folks. All they want is a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Oh my gosh. Get away from me! The calamity drove the wind back shotgun. to the side. A lot of them wound up here in this very fort. Oh, look, there's money over here. I tried to explore um, a decent amount. Not just go right on the path, but sometimes I forget and I just go right on the path. 